go to it. Hi, my name is Mike from Valley Service. I'm going to show you how to run your Jackson dish machine. First, about 20 minutes, maybe a half an hour before you want to use the machine, you want to flip this switch on. That's your heater. That'll turn the heater on for your rinse. When you put the drains in, the, the stoppers, is that, are we starting with that? Oh, are we going to start with for scratch? Well, yes. what, what is it you need? We, I just wanted an instruction what he was doing. I mean, you could do anything you want. Okay. Just, but uh, anyways, turn your heater on 20 minutes, a half hour before you want to use it. These are your manuals. That's if you just, it's like a fill machine. You hold that. That fills the machine. It's not automatic. Now when you want to turn the machine on to use it, Go to the automatic side. That side says manual, that side says automatic. Turn your automatic on. The machine's not going to run. Just hit start. The machine will start. Just let it go through its wash. This will be water in the rinse tank, and then at the end it will dump that water in the wash tank, and it will have hot water in the wash tank. That's correct. Right. Every time, when you do turn this on, every time you go to fill it, it fills through the rinse tank into the machine. Okay. So you're constantly replenishing it with rinse water. Mm -hmm. And the typical time to wash is a couple of minutes? Oh, 90 seconds. Oh, okay. That's your rinse. Okay, now your cycle's complete. Open it up, take your dishes up. Take your dishes out. Then you're going to load it again with, with another load of dirty dishes. And you just go the other way with the stop button. Both ways will stop the machine. So it does one, it does it's one wash, it's, it's down. Whatever, you go the opposite from exactly. whatever it is. There we go. You just hit start, and it starts. Wow. I could have been a long time trying to figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Water's a little hot right now, yes, okay. so I'm going to use my plies instead. You should clean that out. Clean this out after every, after every time you use it. There's you know, no. when you pull it out, it drains the machine. Because you're going to do this when you're not going to use the machine anymore. Right. Okay? Always goes with the taller pipe facing up, otherwise it's not going to seal. Right. So you just drop it in the hole of that, put a round peg in a round hole. <laughs> and that's it. No, there's another strainer. Take that out. Take the one that you took out. Oh, yeah, you didn't put that in. You have to reach your hand down into the hole for the drink, the oh. overflow, and it's off to the one side. Really? Okay, now you have to reach your hand down in. With, with the, with the other, in that boiling hot water? Yeah, I'm not going to stick it in that. But, <laughs> yeah, but you reach down in the hole and put that strainer in the hole that's to the right. Okay, okay. So, so there's a port that comes off the side of it? Yeah. Okay. That's not a daily thing. Okay. Then you just do that whenever? Well, you know, you just check it, keep an you eye on it. do it every time. I, just, I do it every time. Clean it up and hang hang those things on the rinse yep. arms. Do you ever find that dirty if you do it every time? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, Okay. Yeah, there's stuff that gets through. Okay. All, All right. right. Thank you very Sounds much. Great.